Hello everyone, and here I am with a, another LEGO Brickheads review, and also my first Star Wars Solo review, um, of which being of Han Solo and Chewbacca. So on the front of the boxes, you see LEGO logo. Oh wait, and you wonder, how did I get these so early? Well, they started showing up at my Toys R Us store. There's an... So, anyways, on the front of the boxes, the Lego logo, Brickhead's logo, picture of the set that comes within, and it's the age group, set number, and the name, and the amount of pieces, and the new yellow border, or yellow Star Wars logo, which is the thing for Solo, and the name and the number of them. On one side, you see a picture of the main in-film picture of them. And on the back is how you put it on the base plates. It's in advertising the other ones. And, yeah. and also on the tops are the like actual size of the chest pieces of them. Which is kind of interesting and different. And on to the book list. Uh, I'm going to show just one because stuff in it is quite the same but, as each other. But on the back is... I went on the online survey, app, all the pieces included in it, and then Han Solo and the Lego Life app, and add for the two brickheads that are available, and yeah. And now on starting with everyone's favorite smuggler, Chewbacca, or Han Solo. Well, the new Han Solo. It, if you saw in my Avengers Infinity War set, or in Brickhead's review, is that there is no uh, printed tile piece for these. Kind of like how the other ones kind of did. And I don't understand. If anyone knows why, tell in the comments. So, anyways. For, as you see on one leg, he has a, what's supposed to be like a pauldron to have. In, yeah. And also, just like the Black Widow one had, which were... The, like mixel teeth pieces as a belt loop and also the chest piece to like be look like the shirt like the fold of a shirt or something and also one of the like one by two bricks that have a little bit of a print on it which is kind of cool and all and the face of which kind of simplistic for brick heads and but also some a lot of good snot techniques for the hair are like all around and whatnot. Just kind of like you saw on some of the other ones, like Aquaman and whatnot. And what? And he has his, his trademark pistol built kind of similarly to what you saw on Finn, Captain Phasma, and whatnot. And I guess that's about it for Han Solo. And next up is everyone's favorite Wookiee, Chewbacca. And also has a pretty good color scheme of which, and as you can see, and also chest plate of which to be like his ammunition belt that he usually wears. Same with on the back and all. And as he has a large pistol instead of the bowcaster like he has in the later ones. I'm not sure why that is, but whatever. But as see the face of which kind of well captures Chewbacca, like with the like, shaggy uh, fur and whatnot. But also a lot of it all over. But also the like, but also a lot of the like car roof pieces. And playing at top in the yeah. and onto with a little comparison <laughs> is with the build a figure of Chewbacca that we have seen last year. See kind of the same features as they do. The same ammunition belt, but also forgot to mention a little sticking out tile like what Han Solo had. Kind of like also what little figure Chewbacca has is in, yeah. and 
what else to say. I don't know. But a lot of good use of a lot of these, like, orangey tan pieces, and a clever use of that, like, a corner piece, but as the nose, and yeah. And now, on to it, the final verdict. So my overall verdict is, these of which, really, pretty, pretty good brick heads. It's a good way to start off my Han Solo set reviews. And also accounting for the solo sets themselves, and and if you're looking forward to Solo, a Star Wars story, then and want to start your collection of it, then go ahead and pick these up. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.